How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse and today we are going to be taking a first look at the new Nike Mamba 6. Now the Mamba series has been around for years. Some people consider it a steeplechase spike, but it's really just a fantastic option for anyone looking for an aggressive spike from 800 meters to 5,000 meters. Super shoes, super spikes have really been the hot topic recently. We're seeing shoes like the Dragonfly and the Victory with increased stack, that super foam Zoom X cushioning underfoot. But with the Mamba 6, we're gonna get a little bit more traditional design, something a little bit closer to the ground. There's still a lot of athletes out there that like this more classic track spike experience. So the Mamba 6 is gonna deliver and still offer fantastic performance. A lot to talk about with this shoe. First on up, we'll go into the midsole. Still a very similar design to what we saw in the last version. You're gonna get that thin layer of phylon foam that goes all the way through the shoe. Definitely a very close to the ground experience. You're gonna get about a few millimeters more than that last version. So maybe a little bit more cushion, but definitely not quite in line with what you might see in something like the Dragonfly. Moving on down to the outsole, you're gonna see a very similar design to what you saw in the Mamba 5. We do have a modified spike plate that's gonna have one less spike receptacle. You're still gonna get all that traction you've come to know and love, but at a slightly reduced weight. As we move on down into the midfoot and the heel, you're gonna see that shark skin that you saw in the last version. It adds that little bit extra bite and is really nice when you're jumping into the pit or going over a barrier. Finishing this shoe off, this is really what the Mamba is all about. We've got that ultra thin and extremely breathable engineered mesh upper. If you are a steeplechaser, this is gonna drain water with ease and it's built not to stretch. Sometimes as a steeplechaser, as you go through the water pit, your upper can get a little sloshy, a little sloppy. Really, this upper is built for the steeplechase. In the heel, we've got that Matumbo heel. It helps reduce weight and provides a really nice heel fit. And then up in the laces, you can't forget about those notch laces. We've seen it in the Alpha Fly, in the Vaporfly. A lot of Nike racers are using these laces because it just provides a really snug and secure fit. The last thing to note about the upper is gonna be the fit. Now, I don't wear socks when I race. Most steeplechasers don't wear socks. And the seamless experience that this shoe provides is just fantastic, continues on exactly where you left off with the Mamba 5. If you're looking for a fantastic fitting experience that is extremely breathable, the Mamba 6 upper is one of the best in the game. Overall, the Nike Mamba 6 continues to make small and incremental changes over the last version to still maintain its status as a fast and aggressive track spike. Whether you're a steeplechaser who likes a little bit more ground feel or someone who just still likes that traditional classic track spike feel in a high performance package, the Nike Mamba 6 is gonna be a fantastic option. And the one thing we can't forget about is the price point. Coming in at $110, I don't think there's another mid distance or distance spike on the market that packs in this much performance with such a great price. If you're looking to get the Nike Mamba 6 on your feet, you can find it very soon here at Running Warehouse.